Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about cancer of the esophagus. Esophageal carcinoma, also known as esophageal cancer, is a malignant tumor that develops in the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach and is responsible for the transport of food and liquids from the mouth to the stomach. Esophageal carcinoma is a serious and life-threatening disease that requires prompt medical attention. There are two main types of esophageal carcinoma. The squamous cell carcinoma and the adenocarcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is more common in the upper part of the esophagus, while adenocarcinoma is more common in the lower part of the esophagus. Squamous cell carcinoma is the most common type of esophageal cancer worldwide, accounting for approximately 80% of all cases. It typically develops in the upper and middle part of the esophagus and is often associated with heavy alcohol consumption and tobacco use. Squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus begins in the thin, flat cells that make up the inner lining of the esophagus. The cancer cells can grow and spread to nearby lymph nodes and other organs if not treated promptly. Adenocarcinoma of the esophagus is a type of cancer that starts in the glandular cells of the inner lining of the esophagus. It is the most common type of esophageal cancer in Western countries, accounting for about 50 to 60 percent of cases. Adenocarcinoma of the esophagus typically develops in the lower part of the esophagus near the stomach. What are the risk factors for the development of esophageal carcinoma? Risk factors for developing esophageal carcinoma include smoking, alcohol consumption, obesity, gastroesophageal reflux disease, Barrett's esophagus, and a family history of the disease. The age of diagnosis is for most patients between the age of 45 and 70, and men are around three times more commonly affected than women. What are the main symptoms of esophageal carcinoma? Symptoms of carcinoma of the esophagus include difficulty swallowing, pain when swallowing, chest pain, weight loss, and coughing up blood. How can we diagnose esophageal carcinoma? Diagnosis of carcinoma of the esophagus involves several tests, including an endoscopy with biopsy, which involves the insertion of a thin flexible tube with a camera into the esophagus to take a tissue sample for examination. Imaging tests, such as a CT scan and MRI scan, may also be used to determine the extent of the cancer. What are treatment options for esophageal carcinoma? Treatment options for carcinoma of the esophagus depend on the stage and location of the cancer. Surgery is often the preferred treatment for early stages of this cancer, where the cancer is limited to the inner lining of the esophagus. The surgical procedure may involve removing a portion or all of the esophagus and reconstructing it using tissue from other parts of the body. Radiation therapy and chemotherapy may also be used in combination with surgery to improve the chances of a successful outcome. For more advanced carcinomas, where the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, treatment may focus on palliative care to relieve symptoms and improve quality of life. This may involve medications to control pain and discomfort, as well as radiation therapy or chemotherapy to shrink the tumor and reduce symptoms. Is there any prevention for esophageal carcinoma? Prevention of carcinoma of the esophagus involves avoiding risk factors such as tobacco use and heavy alcohol consumption. 
eating a healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight, and managing conditions such as gastroesophageal reflux disease and Barrett's esophagus may also reduce the risk of developing carcinoma of the esophagus. How can we stage esophageal carcinoma? Esophageal carcinoma is staged according to the extent of the cancer and how far it has spread. Accurate staging is important for determining the best treatment options and predicting the patient's prognosis. There are two main staging systems for esophageal cancer, the TNM system and the American Joint Committee on Cancer Staging System. The TNM system uses three factors to determine the stage of esophageal carcinoma. T for tumor, N for lymph nodes, and M for metastasis. The T factor describes the size and extent of the primary tumor, while the N factor indicates whether the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes. The M factor indicates whether the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, such as the liver or lungs. The AJCC staging system is based on the TNM system and is used to determine the stage of esophageal carcinoma. The stages range from 0 to 4, with stage 0 being the earliest stage and stage 4 being the most advanced. The stages are as follows. Stage 0. The cancer is only in the inner layer of the esophagus, also known as carcinoma in situ. Stage 1. The cancer has grown through the inner lining of the esophagus into the next layer or the muscle layer of the esophagus. Stage 2. The cancer has grown into the outer layer of the esophagus or nearby tissues or structures such as the trachea, aorta or diaphragm. Stage 3. The cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes or other organs such as the lungs. And stage 4. The cancer has spread to distant organs such as the liver or bones. In addition to the TNM and AJCC staging system, the grade of the cancer which describes how abnormal the cancer cells look under a microscope may also be taken into account when determining the prognosis and treatment options. The most common sites of metastases in esophageal cancer are the lymph nodes, liver and lungs. Esophageal cancer can spread to nearby lymph nodes in the chest and abdomen, as well as to distant lymph nodes throughout the body. The liver is also a common site of metastases, as blood from the esophagus drains directly into the liver through the portal vein. The lungs are another common site of metastases, as cancer cells can travel through the bloodstream to the lungs. Other organs and tissues that may be affected by metastatic esophageal cancer include the bones, brain and adrenal glands. However, metastases to these sites is less common than metastases to the lymph nodes, liver and lungs. The risk of metastases depends on several factors, including the stage of the cancer, the location of the tumor and the patient's overall health. Early detection and treatment of esophageal cancer can help to prevent or delay the spread of the cancer to other parts of the body. The choice of treatment depends on the location and extent of the metastases as well as the patient's overall health and preferences. That's it for this video, thank you for watching and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much and hopefully see you again in the next video.